Welcome fellow YouTube fans, my name is Rick, you know me as BigGunner81. Thanks for stopping by the channel and checking out the video today. Uh, appreciate it. Hope you guys are all doing well. So, without any further ado, uh, this video I know has been a long time coming. I've had a lot of requests from, from big guys looking for options for plate carriers uh, and all types of stuff like that. Um, as you guys know, when I kind of started my channel, it's kind of, you know, branched out into many firearms related topics. But when I started, I was kind of looking at, you know, guns and gear and shooting sports for big guys. So this is where the uh, body armor kind of falls into. It's very hard to find plate carriers for bigger guys, which, you know, there's obvious you know reasons for that, I suppose, even though everyone should have the option of what they want to wear and use for uh, armor. Um, you know, it seems to be the market is obviously going to be more tailored to people that are physically fit and ready for uh, for action more so I guess uh, I don't know how else to word it it sucks but it's re reality um, however I did find an option through AR500 and that's what this is here this is one of my two plates um, this is 11 by 14 inch uh, advanced uh, shooters cut plate uh, it's the flat plate not curved uh, which we'll tell you a little more about that later on um, and I also add the added to this the Paxcon uh, buildup um, which is this coating that's on, on the plate. As you guys can kind of see the rough textured finish there. It's kind of like Line-X or it might even be the same as Line-X uh, coatings, you know. Um, not really sure. But, uh, or I think actually, actually I think it's what they listed as. Um, I don't remember. But anyhow, they call it PaxCon coating. Um, the idea of that coating is for fragment mitigation, if I'm saying that correctly. Basically when a bullet impacts the surface and it breaks through this, this coating, um, the fragments will, this coating helps to get the fragments caught between the coating and the plate itself so they don't go outward, you know, bounce off the plate and, uh, you know, hit you or something like that. So that's kind of the reason why I added the extra coating too, just to help with that. That'd be kind of a cool idea to, to get that since I was buying and it's not cheap anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the plates, cool, you know. They seem to work. There's a lot of, you know, torture test type videos where people are shooting these plates, which is kind of a shame, but, you know, you got to test stuff sometimes, I guess. Um, but let me show you the actual uh, plate carrier and kind of tell you about that and, and, and something I do have to say about that. So here's the plate carrier that they, they sent. Um, and this is, the, I think, their XL plate carrier, whatever the option is. I forget the actual name that they, they go by on AR500's website. Um, but when I got it, I'm, like, I'm expecting to see something that they make in-house. That was kind of my thought. You know, the way things were worded on their website, I heard no mention of Condor. So this was kind of a little bit of a letdown, but not terribly, because Condor does make somewhat decent stuff, but it's made in China. So I kind of felt a little bit like, um, you know, betrayed in a sense, but not, not where I'm upset or mad about it, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, it's just that I wish they would tell you that's what it was because um, I'll kind of describe the plate carrier a little more in a minute. If you guys look, maybe it's changed by the time the video is posted. You never know. Um, they show all the all these attachments on here with the, like for example, AR-15 mag pouches. Um, you know, you got your pistol pouches, and you got a holster. Now, had I known this was a Condor thing. I would have probably just went out and bought this plate carrier on its own um, and bought the plates from AR500. Maybe that's why they don't list it as being a Condor product, or at least the time that I looked, it didn't seem to be. Um, and this one is model number XPCL-003, and this is tan XO plate carrier, large, extra large. Um, again, it says designed in California, but made in China. Go figure. Um, so I don't mind the mag pouches. That's cool, the pistol and, and uh, AR mag pouches. The, the whole the uh, holster, not so much. And that's just because everyone's got their own way of running their gear. Of course, don't get me wrong. I like to have a holster on my belt. That's just me. You know, if I ever have to strip this off, I like to have my pistol still with me. Um, that's just just an idea. Maybe I'll change my mind on that. I don't know. It's kind of how I think about it. Um, Obviously, tons of Molly attachments on the sides and the fronts and the back. And by the way, this this American flag, uh, I added that. That wouldn't come with it. Um, also has the little loops for your uh, hydration carrier, you know, tube to go through. Um, a lot of cool little features. You can actually add. Um, 
I think you can add side armor to this too. I think it's Velcroed where you can add a panel on the sides as well. Um, but Condor is not a horrible product. I, as you guys may know from watching my earlier videos, if you haven't, you can check it out. I have a plate, or I'm sorry, I have a uh, chest rig that's made by Condor. I like that a lot. For my civilian type use, that I'm going to take it out to the range every once in a while and so forth, and I'm not using it on an every daily basis, um, I think it'll probably hold up just fine. There's torture tests on this stuff, it seems to be okay, but I feel like, well, their website should at least mention that it's Condor made in China instead of, oh yeah, made in America, our, our armor systems are all made in America. So, anyhow, um, yeah, it's not a bad plate carrier. So, for for me, I would I would probably end up buying this anyway. But again, I probably would have bought it separately and saved some money on the stupid pistol uh, holster. I maybe even bought different mag pouches. Maybe I would have you know got something a little different. Maybe some kangaroo style pouches or something that have the AR mags and the pistol mags in the front. Um, so let me show you guys how to actually put this on. Uh, I don't have the I don't have the plates in it now. It's a little easier to show you guys this way. Um, you can put it on any way you want, I suppose. But I'm just going to show you how I kind of do it. Um, First off, there are clips on the top too here, like quick release clips. See, like buckles there. So you can unclip it there as well. Um, what I found works pretty easy is to take and undo one side in the front because it's Velcroed. This is like the front bottom. You pull it open. And this is basically what's holding the side cummerbund, whatever strap you want to call them. Pull that off. And then flip it around. And if the plates are in there, it's, it's again it's a little bit heavier. But I like to kind of sidestep into it, so I'll go ahead and I'll just do like one of these. And kind of straighten everything out in the back as best I can here. Just kind of throw it on real quick. Pull up the velcro. But whatever, you guys get the idea. You just kind of velcro it into place, and now it's on. Um, again, it's going to fit a little differently when you have the uh, the plates in it, and uh, so forth. But you know, it's not a bad option. I think I think it's going to work pretty well for me in my limited use. I may wear it to the range sometimes. I don't know. Um, but one thing I want to also say too, in regards to armor, there's a lot of people out there that. Uh, think, well, only military law enforcement should have body armor. No civilian should have body armor. Really? Come on. I mean, there's proposed legislation to ban body armor right now um, that's been out there. How stupid is that? I mean, yeah, you might get a bad guy that has armor on. It might be kind of hard to defeat it, but you can. Um, but for the 99% of the other people in the world, why would you want to keep them from having something that's designed to only be a defensive tool? It's, it's not something that you're going to go out and attack people with unless you take a plate and you want to smack them over the head with it. You know, body armor doesn't hurt anybody. There's no way to do do any harm to somebody unless, um, again, like, you know, like I said, you hit someone over the head with it. Or if a bad guy gets it, yeah, it makes it a little harder to stop them, but you can still stop them. And I think that the, the greater spectrum is the good people of the world that should have the option to protect themselves. Um, especially if you don't like guns, you should maybe support having body armor. You know, um, just a thought. So anyway, let me show you guys how to put the plates inside and then we'll show you what it looks like. Uh, so I went ahead and separated the front and the back panels. This is the front panel here. They both kind of work similarly. So I'm just going to show you guys one side. Um, as you can see, I took the, the two buckles apart on the top and basically the cummerbund from the Velcro in the front on both sides and just took the cummerbund off. And that's how I separated the two halves. Very simple. Um, so the plate here actually goes inside here as you would suspect um but how it goes inside is kind of interesting so most of this is all held in place with velcro um again here's another little loose piece of string um you have this padded piece now you could run this or not run it i suppose um just padding that's actually outlined you know the whole thing here that kind of lifts up. Inside here, there's a pocket. It's Velcro shut. And then there's a strap that's Velcro. And the way this works, and it's kind of hard to show on the camera because of 
the angles and stuff, but you take the plate and you obviously you look for the strike face. The strike face is going to be the be the face that faces outwards, you know, that's going to be facing away from you. Um, and you go ahead and you open up this pocket and you kind of slip it in. It's not very easy because it's a very tight fit. Um, Got to kind of find the flap here and hold it up out of the way so I can get to it. In fact, I'm going to take this liner out for right now because it makes it a little easier maybe to see. Um, you guys can probably see the pocket a little bit better now. So basically, you want to make sure this, this strap, move my hands so you can see it, this strap is out of the way because you're going to actually loop that around the bottom, which I'll show you in a second. So you get it in the pocket. And again, like I said, it's kind of a tight fit, so you have to kind of wiggle it in there. Which, tight fit's good, because otherwise your plate would be sliding around back and forth. Um, you don't want that, that just wouldn't be very comfortable. So, I'm going to kind of lift this up and kind of shake it into place, I guess, if it'll work. There we go. It's kind of rough, especially with the texturized finish on it. it makes it a little harder to, to slide. And once it's in there, like it kind of is now, you go ahead and you put this strap, the one that I said, you know, make sure it's out of the way, kind of put it up in there in his Velcro, and that helps hold the, the bottom of the plate in place. So you close that off, and then next, this flap here, which has a little pull tab on it as well to help you release it. That you want to make sure is nice and snug over the pocket so that it's also holding the bottom of the plate in place. Then you go ahead and you put the liner back in if you want to. Um, it's probably not a bad idea because it's just a real, it's a real thin lightweight foam piece inside this you know, material but if you absolutely don't want to run it because you need to get as much room as possible, like maybe me, um, you may want you may want to try it without it. But it, it's definitely going to, well, I, would, I can't say definitely because everyone's going to have a different feeling about it. But more than likely it's going to make it feel a little more comfortable to have this little liner inside there. Uh, to kind of give you a little bit of a dampener between the actual steel plate there and your body. So... Yeah, this kind of just kind of goes in place again. Got to kind of play with it a little bit to get it where it needs to go. Kind of smooth it all out as best possible there. And then you can close it back up. I'm trying to make this a little flatter and better, but it's not perfect. And that is how you put the plate in. Um, and of course, when you uh, finish getting the whole front of you assembled, there's little tabs on the bottom here that actually go kind of like up and through here. And they have like a little pull tab on them too. But anyhow, um, that's just kind of a quick way to assemble them. Yeah, it has molly attachments on here too. I don't know what the deal is with that exactly, but uh, maybe there's a piece you can attach there too I suppose I don't really know you guys know let me know in the comments below there you go um so yeah let me put it back together and we'll go ahead and try it on and show you guys what it what it uh looks like just putting the other plate back in on the rear here real quick does it concern any of you guys out there that the uh, Chinese are getting very good at making um plate carriers and other types of tactical accessories just a thought all right guys so this is what the uh armor looks like while you're wearing it um Got both plates installed, the front and the back plate. Uh, one thing I want to say is, I'll kind of show you guys, I guess I should do a little turnaround here. Um, as you saw, the plates that I bought were the flat plates. Um, they do offer curved plates. My thought was the curved plates might be curved a little bit too tight, maybe for my size, my width. I uh, wasn't sure. Maybe I should have went with the curved plates. In fact, I will say AR500 Armor did recommend going with the curved plates, um, but I, I was just, like I said, was thinking that maybe it would be too tight of a curve, so shame on me, maybe I made the wrong choice, I don't know. Um, it does feel to me like 
these plates stick out so far straight that um, the straps on the side here, like the cummerbund or whatever you want to call it, is going to be um, a little more uh, taunt. You know, there's less, you lose some of your adjustability there. In fact, I'm like at the limit of the adjustability for this particular uh, plate carrier for me. And for you guys out there wondering, you know, as far as if it'll fit you or not, just to give you an idea, I wear anywhere from, well, sometimes I can squeeze into 2X, but that's on my, my uh, days that I can, you know. Usually it's a 3X and a 4X type shirt. So just to kind of give you a rough idea, 4X is a little loose on me, 3X is about where I'm at, I kind of fluctuate around. Um, so, I mean, it's a gamble if it's going to work for you or not, you know, I, I can't say, but just to kind of give you an idea of what works for me anyway. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the armor. Just remember, um, you know, you're going to have people to mention about if you're a big guy and body armor and better off being physically fit more than anything because uh, you're a bigger target, those kind of comments. Whatever, who cares? All there is to it is what works for you and what doesn't. Keep in mind that the plates are going to weigh you down more because you're, you're running around with or walking around with heavier gear on. Um, so that might be something to consider. You know, you lose some mobility, but you gain some armor. Uh, but that's not foolproof e either, the armor that is. Thing, there are things that will penetrate it and so forth. But um, anyway, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, go out and have some fun shooting. <laughs>